So yesterday, um, quite by accident, I scored a cold frame. Um, I got it for free off someone who just wanted to get rid of it fast, so we picked it up yesterday. It's missing two panes of glass, but that's not really a problem. I have enough other things that I could cover it with. So today I'm going to plant it um, with a few hardy crops, but some that I want to give a bit of extra heat. And then later on we'll move it, we'll probably move it one bit over and grow some watermelon in it. So for now I'm putting in some cabbage, some kohlrabi, a bit of salad in between, salad leaves, um, and some fennel on the other end. So I didn't bring the big tripod and I'm alone in the garden at the moment, so I hope you don't tip over while I'm filming this. This is one of the beds I just started in. Oh, one of the beds I just started in. When was it? February, I think. So, basically, um, it does still have quite a bit of lawn underneath it. So, as you can see, I ended up pricking out instead of planting. I'm going to take take the cabbage out as well again. Probably. Probably the better choice. So here I've got fennel that was sown mid-February and we get hot summers so fennel really does better and early summers too so fennel really does better here um, when sown in the summer and then left to grow in the autumn but um, this one I sowed a bit earlier than usual and I'm going to see how that does here. look better than you think with these small plants. Um, but they've been in the seed starter trays way too long, so I really had to get them out now. And this year I'm experimenting with fennel, sowing at different times, planting at different times, just to see what does best. Um, I'm leaving two rows here for beetroot. Remember, I am opening this up later on. Um, so I'm going to plant them spaced out. Um, so in the middle, I have space for a couple more. That would be good. Um, these we were given by our neighbors. I have no idea what they are, but I think they're more salad heads, which we will be picking for leaves, but um, I don't know how big they're going to get. So I'm putting these in the middle space between the fennel. And I'm going to be putting smaller types that I know Marvel of Four Seasons that I know will do well. I'm putting on the outside here. So 
it turns out I had to go home um, because I didn't have any beetroot left here in the garden. Um, but I did, did have some at home. Um, turns out there are four plugs with multi-sown beetroot, so I won't be staggering them after all. I will, I'll just be putting them here. And we have so much lettuce that in the end, if there's a problem with space, I'll just take the lettuce out. So, um, just make the holes here. They're looking pretty good already. Make the holes a bit larger. And I'm just going to put them in and leave them as they are. Well, I'm going to water them in, but I won't close the holes. Sorry, it takes a while to get them out of their little seed tray. the rest of this in uh, when I left this morning. It's now about three hours later. So um, we've got the lettuce, the cabbage, more lettuce, then the kohlrabi, more lettuce, the new, new four new plugs of beetroot, more lettuce, and the fennel all the way in the back. And yes, it's densely planted. Um, it's one meter 20 wide, one meter 20 wide and 80 deep. Sorry, I just had to stop the camera there because my brother-in-law called on the phone and I'm using my phone to make the videos. So yeah, basically what's left now is to water in the beetroot and then I'll probably have to close the frame up tonight. If not tonight, then tomorrow night because we are due a freeze and I just don't want the plants even though they're cold hardy, I don't want them to um, get too cold when I've just put them in. All right, thanks for watching.